Logic Pro on iPad allows you to analyze the tempo of any audio file and then match the tempo of your project to that particular file. It's super cool and in this video I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Here's a guitar track that I recorded here in Logic Pro but the problem is I didn't use a click track or a metronome so when I go to play it it's not at the right speed, but we can use the Analyze Tempo option here in Logic Pro to help us out. All we need to do is tap on this audio file, go down to Tempo, and hit the Analyze Tempo button. This will work out the BPM or the tempo of this entire audio file. Now all we need to do is tap it again, go down to Tempo, and then hit this one, the Apply Region Tempo to Project. As soon as we hit this, look what happens. You can see here that it's tracked that tempo, and it's changed changed it throughout the project so that it's going to match this audio file. Now, if you can't see this tempo track, you just need to tap on this button to bring up the tempo track. And you'll see that as we play this, it's now going to match up perfectly to our metronome. And this is super cool because now we can add in drums and bass and other virtual instruments and they're going to line up and follow the tempo even if it's a variable tempo just like this one. And you'll see here that it's going to match, so it's going to use that variable tempo as the tempo track. Now, if you want to set your own variable tempo, there's another video showing you how to do that right there and down in the description. And the even cooler thing about this is that even if you're importing an audio file from another source, you can do the same thing. So let's bring this guitar track in here, and we can actually do the same thing. We're going to tap on this one, go to tempo, and hit analyze tempo. And now, once again, we tap on it, we go to tempo, we apply the region tempo to the project and check that out. It has changed all of the tempo settings based on this audio file that we've imported. Now let's line up our drama track again and hit the play button and take a listen. And once again, you'll see that as we speed up here through the chorus of this song, the drummer track and any other virtual instrument tracks you add are going to follow because it's set up the tempo track to automatically change the BPM as we progress. If you'd like to learn more about importing audio and using the tempo track here in Logic Pro for iPad, check out the videos there and there and down in the description, and I'll see you next time.